Fretting over what to give that hard-to-shop-for person on your list? Well, don't bother. At least that's the view we're about to hear from Josh Landis and Mitch Butler of The Fast Draw. If you're having trouble finding the perfect gift, some economists say you can do everybody a favor by not buying anything. Come on, doesn't more spending help the economy? Anyway, it's the season for giving. And Josh, you've been a very adequate colleague this year, so I'm required to buy you a gift. A hundred bucks I've spent on your new unicycle. You paid a hundred dollars for that. Yeah, it's called supply and demand. Enough people believe that this unicycle will bring them a hundred dollars worth of happiness. So the free market has set that price. Sorry, that's not worth a hundred bucks to me. Studies have found that people who get unwanted gifts, no offense, value them on average 20% below sticker price. Josh's lack of gratitude has cost me a wasted $20. And not only that, Wharton Business School professor Joel Waldfogel says buying unwanted gifts also hurts the economy. He's not a Grinch, he's an economist. So in effect, giving gifts on average is wasteful. In his book Scroogeonomics, Waldfogel says when you spend $100 on something fun, you should be getting $100 of happiness. But when you give something to someone who doesn't want it, they only enjoy a portion of it. 20% of it is, in his eyes, wasted. And when you add it up, he says Americans every year waste $13 billion worth of happiness. It's money that could have made someone happy, but didn't. I don't know what you like, I don't know what you need, I could spend $50 and buy something worth nothing to you, in which case the spending wouldn't produce any satisfaction. Come on, it was a gift, because you're my friend. Thank you. So what's the point here? Don't give Josh gifts? Not exactly. Economists say just give money, or take the time to find out what people really want. I think I want a unicycle. That's my unicycle. Thank you.